Welcome back to another Blender November video. We're continuing on the Shader Library series with Darkfall and Serpents. In the previous videos, we created our diamond material with the principal BSDF and material output. And then I went and started to explain the different data types along with accessing and setting blend data. We're going to be doing a lot more of this in this video. So I figured it was a good time to start explaining it before we get into it. The end result after this series for the diamond is going to look more like this. And in this video, we're going to teach you how to create and place the glass BSDF along with setting the color and index of refraction. Once you create one, you should be able to create the other three. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So starting off with our shader here, we have diamond material that we're going to be accessing the blend data on. And the first thing we want to do is delete the principal BSDF. So do shift A. We're going to add in a get blend data, access in our node tree, and off of the node tree, we want to access the nodes themselves. So that is a blend data collection. So shift A, blend data, and towards the top, there's a get blend data collections. Now that we have access to the nodes, we want to remove a blend data, and the principal BSDF shader is what we want to remove. And if you do shift A under functions, you have both a create and a remove blend data. So let's go ahead and use the remove blend data. And this takes in an entire set of blend data collections, and then it's looking for one of the items from that collection. So to get access to one of the items, all we need is an index data collection node. And that's about a third of the way down on the blend data. Connect that in, and instead of accessing by index number, we're gonna access by name. Now to get the name of the node that we want, all you have to do is click on the node in your shader editor, hit the N key to bring up the N toolbar, and the name is here. You can literally copy it and paste it in here. We need to connect in the white diamonds in our function, and then compile. You'll notice the principled BSDF is now no longer there. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our next node. So go to Shift A and under Functions, we want to create blend data. We can literally copy these three nodes over. So Shift D, bring them over. Now, this time, instead of using a name, we need a type. And if you have your Python tooltips enabled, go to Edit. Preferences and under interface, there's a Python tooltips that'll show you the Python reference when you're in the shader workspace. Do Shift A and under the shaders, we're looking for the glass BSDF, and the type is listed right there. We have shader node BSDF glass. Now you do need to match the upper and lower cases together, otherwise, it's not going to find it. So let's go ahead and compile and see if it works. There we go. Now it created it in an arbitrary location. This is probably zero, zero. And we wanna come over about 600 in the X direction. Going left is a negative number. And for the Y going up is positive, down is negative. So to access the location off of our new node, we actually get access to the node itself and we can set data. So under the blend data, Click on the set data node. And we want to change this to a float because our location is a float vector. We don't need anything else in here. So you can click these minus icons. We also don't need to access anything else with our data. So you don't need to worry about choosing compositor, compositor or shader. Uh, you don't need to select your nodes because all the nodes have a location. So we're going to move over negative 600 in the X. And for the first glass BSDF, we want to be up 400. Compile and click on our diamond again. And that's pretty decent. So now we want to set in the attributes on this node. We have a color attribute and we have an index of refraction that we want to set. The first color is going to be set to red. And the index of refraction is going to be set to 1.446. So 
So we can go ahead and set these now. Just to have for reference, you can copy them over when we're ready. So we'll go ahead and still make access of this node. And we want to access the blend data itself because we need to get the inputs. And there are four inputs starting with input 0, 1, 2, and 3. So do Shift A. And since there are multiple inputs, it's going to be a blend data collection. Connect in your node blend data for your glass BSDF. And we're going to access and index the inputs. So you can come on back over here and get your index data collection. Duplicate it over. Rather than indexing by name, we're going to index by number. So we're going to do number 0 and number 2. You can actually duplicate this down and set them both. Now in the Shift A menu, down in the Properties section, we can access Properties or we can access Attributes. And these are attributes that we're going to be setting. The attribute name itself is actually just called default value. And the blend data is the input that we're accessing. Now the data itself, we're accessing color. So we want to set ourselves in a color and a float. Let's go to Shift A and under Inputs, three down we have a color. We do need to use alpha because this color contains all four channels. And then you can highlight your mouse over here and hit control C and then highlight your mouse here and control V and it'll copy the color over. Or you can go to the RGB and set them yourself. And then go shift A input and float. You can do the same thing, copy and paste. Bring this over, connect them in, and let's go ahead and see if this works. So compile our graph and click on the diamond. We'll delete this out. There we go. Now we've successfully created our first glass BSDF node. Now you can take this whole section and technically you could just duplicate it and move it over, change the location, and change the color and you'll have your next glass bsdf node but i'll teach you a little bit more in the next video and uh, we'll catch you on the next one <music>